Hi families, my name is Mish Jenna and I'm a teaching artist living in Western Pennsylvania who's interested in upcycling, usually discarded materials into brand new artworks. This Earth Month, Waste Management and I are teaming up to arm you with important information about recycling and to hopefully inspire you to use creative solutions to become environmental stewards. In this video, we're going to be weaving with plastic bags. But first, I'll let an expert from Waste Management explain a little bit more about plastics and recycling. Hi families, my name is Erica and I work for Waste Management. We are so excited to partner with Ms. Jenna to bring you this fun activity. Creating art out of plastic bags is a great way to reuse this material, which really does not belong in your curbside recycling bin. Plastic bags can be a big problem for recyclers. When WM collects your recyclables, we bring them to our material recovery facility for sorting and processing. These plastic bags are known as tanglers and can really gum up our sorting equipment. They wrap around our machinery and prevent other recyclables from being sorted. Multiple times a day, employees need to enter the machines to cut out plastic bags and other tanglers that have wrapped around our equipment. While I always try to use reusable bags, I still have a stash of old plastic bags under my kitchen sink. When not finding a reuse for them, I take them back to my local grocery store for recycling. You can visit plasticfilmrecycling.org to find a location near you. For this Earth Day art project, you only need a few materials. Plastic bags, chipboard or corrugated cardboard, this is from the back of a drawing pad, and scissors. On top of these materials, you might also want to have some single-use plastics. I have the lids of yogurt containers and Play-Doh and also the fasteners for bread bags. For your youngest learners, you might also want to have some pieces of temporary fencing. Before you start your weaving, you have to create your plastic yarn or plarn. First, smooth out your bag and start to gently roll it from one side to the other. Cut both ends. Cut your bag into equal segments. Each segment should be a loop. Unravel each loop. To create a warp, you will need to tie your segments together. Take one segment and pull it through the loop of another to create a T-shape. Pull the back end through the front and pull both segments together tightly. Repeat this process until you have one continuous strand. To create a loom, you will need to cut notches on each side of your board equal distance from each other. You can also glue strips of cardboard on each end, which will make weaving easier. To secure your warp, wrap your continuous strand of yarn all around your loom through the notches. Once your warp is complete, you can begin weaving. Use single strands of plastic bag and tie when you begin each new strand.
Maneuver your weft or plastic yarn under and over to create a basket weave. Use different colors of bags to create interesting patterns. Once your weaving is complete, trim off any loose ends. Turn your loom over and cut your warp. Pull the ends of the warp out of the loom notches and secure each by tying them together. Repeat the same process on the other side. When you cut your weaving off of your loom, there is still plenty of creative choices to make. What will you create? An all-weather mat? A shopping bag? Or you can use those single-use plastics to help to embellish a wall hanging. You can also decorate a frame and frame it. I'm so excited for you to create a plastic bag weaving all your own. Now I'm going to send you back to Erica for more important information about recycling and how you can share your creation with me and the rest of our community. You can help WM by making sure to place only good quality material in your curbside recycling bin. Remember to keep plastic bags and other tanglers out of your curbside recycling bins. Items like holiday lights, Rubber hoses, wire hangers, rope, and clothing cannot be recycled in curbside programs. We hope you enjoyed this fun activity. Share photos of your finished artwork with WM by tagging us on social media, at Waste Management, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.